What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to make medicine inside of Minecraft. Now this is of course using the Education Edition, which I've already explained in a few other videos on how to get Education Edition inside of your game. So I'm not going to be focusing on that in this video. I'm just going to literally focus on the actual medicine itself. So let's go ahead and get started. So literally all you need to make any of this medicine inside of the game is a burning stand and that is it. You're not going to need the lab table. You're not going to need the compound career, you're not going to need any of that. You're literally going to need just the brewing stand and obviously you're going to need some of the elements. So let's go ahead and pull stuff out of the chest. So first off, you're going to need awkward potions. This is basic vanilla stuff as most of you guys are probably already aware. Just a water bottle and nether wart. So that's not really anything too special. But you are going to need these four elements in order to make four completely different types of mess. And you're going to need silver. You're going to need cobalt, you're going to need calcium, and you're going to need bismuth. So let's go ahead and start brewing this. So let's go ahead and throw in our first awkward potion and throw in our silver. Now what the silver is going to make is this right here. This is an antidote. I'm going to go over each of these uh, different medicines one at a time. So antidote, this is for curing poison. So if I go ahead, press this button, now I've got poison, and if I go ahead and drink this antidote, this is going to give me an empty uh, bottle back, which is kind of obvious, that's kind of how I made the mess in the first place, but it went ahead and got rid of the poison, which is actually rather nice. So let's go ahead and make the next mess, and so we're going to throw in our aqua potion again, now we're going to go ahead and throw in the cobalt. Now here is what the cobalt makes. The cobalt makes an elixir. So let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, uh, command block, which this is weakness. Now, there's not really a good example of weakness that I can do in this lab as of right now, unfortunately, but you can obviously see t in the top right corner of my screen, I have the weakness stats effect. If I go ahead and drink this elixir, this is going to go ahead and cure that, just like the antidote cured the poison. And this pretty much goes for the other two uh, medicines as well as it cures their specific ailments. So let's go ahead and make the third medicine and we're going to need calcium for this medicine. Now, honestly, I don't really consider this as medicine so much as it is something that you just choose kind of like on a a somewhat regular basis, not like everyone uses on a regular basis, but it is technically considered as medicine by the game, and this makes eye drops. And if you guys can take a wild guess as to what eye drops does, well, it actually cures blindness. So if I go ahead and press this button right here, as you can tell, I am now blind. I can't really see a whole, whole heck of a lot, but if I go ahead and, okay, this is admittedly kind of gross, you do technically drink the eye drops, which doesn't make any sense. But there's no other way of doing it inside of the game. So let's go ahead and take the eye drops. And now we can see once again. So not too bad. And so now we're going to go ahead and make our last uh, medicine. And this is going to require the bismuth. The last element that I have inside of my inventory. Now what bismuth makes when it creates medicine, it creates a tonic. Now here's what the tonic does, it cures nausea. So pretty much everyone knows that nausea, not exactly a very pleasant status effect to have. Obviously as you can tell, it makes your vision quite distorted and it doesn't look all too pleasing. In some cases, some people have a really hard time knowing what they're doing with nausea. I've heard some people have some like really bad IRL status effects when having nausea inside of Minecraft. Don't quote me on that, but I know at least one YouTuber who does have that problem. Um, and so the tonic, as you expect, as I already mentioned, it cures nausea. So there we go. Now I have my normal vision once again, and that is literally all there is for the actual medicine inside of Minecraft. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and end things off. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that like button. 
But more than make sure that subscribe for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This is Mizzou Sue. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.